in this video, I'm going to give you the five best scents to sell your home to. Now, if you Google this, you're probably going to find a bunch of articles all saying exactly the same thing. They'll mention coffee, vanilla, floral scents, cleaning scents, fresh bread, cinnamon. Side note, don't go with cinnamon. There's a lot of people who are fussy with it. And lavender. All right, it's two of the fussiest scents out there. The last thing you want is someone coming into the house and going, oh, no, not for me. They haven't even seen the house yet. Boring ones we've all heard of before. Well, I'm here to give you ones that are a little bit different, and then I'm also going to tell you why I think they're going to work. Before we start, I will just say that the purpose of using scents to sell your home isn't just to make your home smell a little bit nicer, but it's just to invoke all these positive attributes that you're going to want the person to imagine. You want the person to be thinking positively when they come and view your house. You don't just want them to go, Oh, it smells clean. Yeah? You want them to be thinking idealistically. Take, for example, the first one on our list. Fresh coffee. Yes, I know, it's cliched, sorry. Every other list is going to have it. But fresh coffee helps prospective buyers imagine themselves on a nice warm Sunday morning. It's summer, the patio doors open, they're on the deck in. Nice freshly brewed coffee ready to be drunk. It's idealistic. It's all about invoking these positive feelings of why you want to be in this house. Or they might eat coffee and smell it and go, oh, not this again. It also just so happens that we make a banging fresh coffee wax melt. I'm not just saying that, mind. All right, I will slag off a lot of our scents. I think some of them are terrible. But fresh coffee is banging. I do really like coffee though, so I am biased. Moving on to number two. Now you won't see many people go with this next scent, but I'm going with it due to four years experience running a home fragrance business. This scent has literally been our best selling scent in every single category has ever gone in for four years. So if we've ever done it as a candle, a room spray, wax melt, aroma oil, literally anything has been done as a product, it's been the best seller. And that scent is... No theory. If you've shopped with us before, then you probably would have guessed that. Whilst I can't say that this scent will help you sell your home, I will say that being the best selling fragrance every single year has to mean something. It's just an option. And we do it as a room spray, which is a much easier way of adding fragrance to your house because you can literally just spray it before someone arrives. Yeah? Yeah? Do you want to say hello? Yeah, go on in. <clears throat> What scent would you recommend someone use to sell the house? Marshmallow. Why would you recommend marshmallow? Because I like marshmallow. Oh, so if they got kids coming around, go with sweet scents. More on sweet scents in a bit. Do you want to show your tough then? There we go. Go on, I'll be done, okay? I'll be done, okay? And obviously the benefit of using a room spray is you can add fragrance to your house really quickly. Like you could see them pulling up on your drive, you just go quick! Just like that, fragrance. On to number three. This one's going to be a little bit different again, but I'm going to explain why I think it might work. For number three, I'm going with Egyptian Amber. I know, you're probably thinking, what the hell is this, Ross? But for those that have never tried it before, it's essentially a very spa-like scent. If you want to go down the idealistic route when it comes to selling your home, you're going to want someone to walk in and imagine themselves feeling super relaxed. And every time I get a little whiff of it, it just takes me back to a spa. Not that I've been to many. I've had like one massage, but it reminds me of that. It reminds me of laying on the table going, oh, this is really uncomfortable. I don't like someone else touching my back. So you think you'd be negative memories, but you know. If you can get someone to picture themselves at a spa when they're in your home, you're halfway there, mate. You know what I mean? They feel relaxed already. They don't want to leave now. They're like, oh, oh, sign me up, buttercup. We do have an entire range of spa-like scents available at teddyvescents.co.uk. They're called Exotic Escapes. Ooh, there's all exotic spa -y fragrances. Have a look if you want up here. Number four, again, a little bit cliche, but we're gonna go with food. If you really wanna sell your home to someone, you might just wanna make them hungry first. If someone can imagine themselves eating in your house, or even better, cooking, then you're probably gonna sell your house. If you can get them to imagine themselves cooking in your house, then they may as well just move in because they're already making dinner. You can go with a sweet scent like Biscoff or Vimto which would also double up on their curiosity because they're going to be walking around your house going, I swear I can smell Vimto. And then you can go, oh yeah, it's this wax mount we got from Ted Eva Sense. They got this really cute guy on the internet, really lovely. And then you might not have sold your house, but you have helped us sell some more wax mounts to them. Hey. Or you can hit him with a blast of fruit, like something like Thai lime and mango. 
which would also double up on being a spa scent, or a powerful one like Black Cherry. And if that's not for you, then you could help your prospective buyer think about nights in by giving them cocktail scents. You have a little bit of Purple Rain, Pina Colada, or Sex on the Beach. Speaking of Sex on the Beach, Number five, sex sells. Same goes for your house. Don't take me the wrong way on this one already. Like, you know what I mean? If you want possible buyers to think idealistically when they're in your house, you might want to try and get them to picture themselves making love. All right, this one might get a little bit weird. But if you can walk into a room and get blasted with the thought of making love, then there's a strong chance you're going to want to live there. You now want this house. This house was literally built for lovemaking and it's offering you the chance to stay there. It's calling you. Come make love in me. Ooh. If a house said that to me, I would probably leg it. That would be creepy. We literally have an entire range of wax melts available on the website that are dedicated to smelling like making love. No, they smell arousing. They don't smell like making love. That's different. If I walked into a room and smelt something like Moonlit Masquerade, I would probably whip all my clothes off and I'm rearing and ready to go. Don't invite me around your house. It's risky. There is one possible downside to this tactic, and that's that they might picture you making love instead. If you are selling your house, then I dare say there's a strong chance that you've made love in at least one of the rooms. Come on, am I lying? Saucy little devils. If a possible buyer gets a little hint of sex appeal in the air, then they might pitch themselves having lots and lots of lovemaking sessions. Or they might picture you doing the same. A little bit awkward when you're trying to show them around and that's all they can picture. Which might lead them to immediately exit the bedroom, tiptoe down the stairs, because you've probably done it there as well, avoid the kitchen worktops, the rug, the wall, the dining room table, wrong with the bathroom, for God's sake, the garden, jeez. You're an animal. Don't touch any of the walls, none of the floors either in fairness. Anything that you can sit on, don't touch them. Anything that can be bent over, probably not. So they'll just have to burn their eyes and leg it. That's not gonna lead to a sale, is it? Like I said, risky strategy, but it might pay off. So there we have it. There's the five best cents to help you sell your house to. I'm pretty sure I give you more than five cents there, but screw it. If you just say five cents is a sexy title, you know what I mean? If I said you roughly 17 cents maybe to sell your house to, you'd be like, what's this? If you want to purchase any of these scents, then you can do so at teddythescents.co.uk. But yeah, avoid the dark masquerade section if you don't want people picturing you shagging. Oh. Hey, I kept this quite tame. I did well then. But yeah, best of luck selling your home. And until next time, I've been Ross. Catch you again.